Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're back as a homeowner on the Xbox. This morning guys, I got up around 8 a.m. and oh boy, it was chilly, it was 49 degrees. I think that has been the coldest morning so far and that just means falls around the colder and uh, the seasons are gonna change here. But a few things happened guys. About midweek, we had a few uh, pipes here in the house leak. I had to run to big box store uh, to get those fixed here. But today, we'll be doing a few small projects outside. Like always guys, there's a full mods list linked down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. Out front here in the driveway guys, we have the Lizard Fleet side pickup truck, the old farm truck we found last week in a barn find. And I have some big, big updates for you guys here. The very first thing, I did get some new tires for it, so we could actually drive it on the road. The other ones were dry rot and flat spotted, and the steering wheel was wobbly. Definitely not the safest thing to be driving around. The other thing guys, I did do a full oil change. I uh, did uh, uh, flush the brakes, so we're all good there uh, to take it for a quick spin but I was doing a lot of looking around and this is actually uh, not the original paint here. It looks like this was repainted. The truck was originally red here. So today, uh, we are actually going to be dropping this off because I want uh, uh, to bring it back to its original color. Uh, the old kind of uh, fleet side red, which is going to look pretty sweet here. Although this color looks nice, it does need some touch up. And hey, uh, why don't we just bring it back to the original color? Charlie's always out to melt, running around here, and I think we do need to give him a little bit more food. He's probably hungry this morning here. He really likes a uh, fetch here with a tennis ball with uh, even sticks he picks up around the yard here. But right now, guys, it is right around mid-80s, which is a lot, a lot better uh, from 49 degrees this morning here. But I can't wait for the fall. Uh, this is, uh, the seasons change, the leaves start to fall, and all that is so much fun. A few quick updates for you guys as well. The modders are working on a new updated version here too. Uh, the Super Duty here and they are actually going to be releasing the Crew Cab version with it. So very soon guys, uh, we are going to be selling the NMC truck for that. It's been a long time, a huge wait. And I think it's going to be well worth it since there's going to be so many cool options and things like that. But you guys might be asking, uh, Square, why is there two ATVs outside? And that's because I was uh, I just uh, did a full oil change. I grease them up last night but we are gonna be buying another one here today i want something a little bit bigger more power and just have a, a little bit more kind of off-road worthy so we'll do that but first guys we actually have to go drop this off there at the paint shop I'm thinking today, guys, we're going to be driving this truck around. We only are going to have it for probably another week, week and a half. So, hey, uh, might as well enjoy it here. Although I really do like this truck, I can't wait for the F-350 crew cab uh, since that has been a long time coming. But, oh boy, we're going to have a matching blue truck and trailer. Now, that is going to be a pretty sweet thing here. We'll get backed up and attached to it. But you guys have been asking for more and more Xbox videos here. So, I will be doing a lot more, especially with all the cool mods that have been recently released here. So many cool things. Things, uh, that we are, are going to be doing and lots of cool things planned but let's get it loaded up the old fleet side fire is right on up here. I did put a new battery in it, did change everything, so we should be good to go. And the fuel pump seems to, uh, to be really helping here. That was one of the last things uh, that needed to be uh, cleaned out and replaced. With a car trailer like what we have here with two small ramps, guys, it is a bit tricky. And I always am trying to be as careful as we can here. If we uh, press on the gas too much, we might have those ramps flying out. And the uh, truck would come crashing down here. It is always tricky, but luckily, uh, we just haven't had any problems. Let's put those ramps away there. We'll put a few straps here on it. And I do need to go grab the uh, checkbook as well because they do want, I think they said they want about 50% of the money up front here, which yeah, I think is pretty reasonable as well. That way, uh, they uh, could get it to go buy the paint and all the things like that. Well, guys, we're ready to head to the paint shop here, and I really do like this old truck. And like I mentioned, guys, I think uh, going with uh, kind of the uh, uh, red color is probably the way to go. I really want it to be as original as possible, but uh, I, I also kind of like to uh, kind of change up sometimes. And like I mentioned, although this color is good, I think the red is going to be even better here. But if you guys are new stopping by for the first time, uh, please consider subscribing. We are getting so close, so close uh, to 100,000 subscribers. I can't 
can't wait for that milestone here every single day uploads uh, for so many years guys is so much fun really do like uh, these types of videos here but we're here at the gas station I believe the uh, paint booth is just around back here oh yes yeah. so we have to back it in and we'll put it in front of one of the garage doors we'll probably put the key on the tire I don't think anybody's uh, gonna try to take a old farm truck like this that needs a lot of work all right, we'll just put it in front of the door there. Let's really quickly just put the key on the tire. I'll send him a text message, and hopefully, guys, this is ready for next uh, week so we can pick it up. Uh, maybe I could pick it up mid a week and bring the cam along with me here, but I really like uh, to kind of feature these videos every single Sunday here. But you guys can see this NMC truck, although we haven't really been driving it around much, it is a really neat truck here. Really do like it, but let's head on out. Let's go pick up this quad here. So you guys might be asking, what type of quad are you looking to? to get here well I don't really want to buy anything new we're going off-roading uh, and mudding things like that so I wanted to buy something used in the farmer I actually had something uh, for sale on the website so I think the farmer posted this on the marketplace here. I believe it's right around a 2010, 2011 model. And oh boy, guys, it's right out front here. Wow, that thing is in really good condition. So this is the Lizard 4x4 Bear model. As you guys can see, this thing looks pretty sweet here. So this is a lot bigger than what ours is currently. And you guys can see it has some cool racks here if we wanted to put anything. One thing I am noticing, guys, one of these tires looks like, oh wow, there's actually a nail on that tire. And uh, they look to have a little bit of dry rot on it he must not be using it too much uh, since he's always in the tractors and things like that here so I'm gonna give him a phone call oh, and let's see what he says hi farmer I'm at your farm checking out the quad that you have on the marketplace yeah I really do like it but I, I'm looking at the tires it looks like I'm gonna need a full new set of tires so I, it looks like you want right around three thousand dollars for it I'm thinking right around 2400 since I'm going to have to buy all new tires for it. And uh, uh, do you know uh, when the last time you did the oil change was? Oh, uh, a month ago. Awesome there. Yeah, I could go up to 2500 Deal. I will uh, leave the money in the mailbox for you. And uh, uh, come on by the next time and check it on out then. Well, guys, after a little bit of negotiations, we got it for $2,500, $500 off from what he was asking. Uh, we should definitely be able to put new tires on it, no problem. Hey, uh, actually, on the way back home, why don't we stop by the dealership and see if they have any, because this quad it, uh, seems like a common size here. Now, you guys might be asking, what model is this? And this is, I believe, a Lizard as well, you guys, since he looks at that 350cc. Wow, uh, this thing definitely has a lot of power here, but let's get it loaded up, and let's go see if we get some new tires for it now this quad guys is a 2010 model so it's just around 10 years old and I think that is a pretty good deal here this looks like it does have quite a bit of uh, sun exposure uh, just being outdoors here so we might want to re uh, replace a few of the plastic parts here but oh boy this thing looks so cool here for $2,500 we get a quad if we were to go buy one new this size we're probably looking at eight or nine thousand dollars so I will say guys uh, sometimes it just makes more sense to buy use especially if you could get them on really good deals and kind of negotiate and uh, like we did here today now guys I do plan to get FS 22 on both PC and Xbox which should be a lot of fun hopefully uh, we can do a lot of videos and uh, the mods do come out pretty quickly for all the platforms uh, so that we can make some pretty cool videos here and I do want to do a little bit more role play here on the Xbox like I have mentioned earlier because these videos are so much fun it, it is a pretty neat challenge to make similar videos to what I do on the PC but with the limitation of the mods here but we are actually heading to the dealership I really want to see if we could get some new tires here for it because if we can we'll, we'll switch them out when we get back home and then uh, we are good to go hey maybe they could even do it here actually that might be the way to go uh, let's see let's see yeah it looks like they are pretty busy here today but I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna see if uh, we could get it here and let's see if they could even do it because that would save us a little bit of time and save us the wrenching well guys they have wheels in stock here the wheels are a little bit bigger more off-road meats if you would say and uh, since these look to be more for turf tires and we want to go mudding and we just want to have a lot of fun off-road here as well so each tire is right around a uh, $40 here but they are actually throwing in a new set of wheels for it as well which I am pretty excited for here we'll take the old ones home with us but as maybe a spare set here but I thought uh, I think it's gonna be right around $250 all said and done it is a pretty fair deal here so we'll pull right in front of the door and I'll catch you back here probably in a half hour when the new wheels and tires are on. 
Here it is, guys, with the new wheels and tires. You guys can see we went smaller on the rim, bigger on the tire, which is probably the way to go here. A lot more uh, a smoother ride here for us, and I think it really does make it quite a look uh, a lot better here. But let's hop on it. I really want to kind of test out a little bit of the suspension. Maybe we could do that on the edge of the trailer ramp uh, since this quad does have a little bit more suspension than one of our other ones. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is so cool. Just look at that suspension flex. But now, guys... We've been out and about almost the entire day here, so let's get on back here to the house. Really want to rip it around. Now, with these tires, we uh, if we turn too fast or uh, throttle up too fast, we could definitely tear up the grass. So, we just got to have to be careful. We're back here at the house, guys, and almost the entire way back, I was looking at the rear view mirror, uh, just checking out how cool this thing looks here. So let's get it unloaded. The very first thing, I really kind of want to show you guys the difference in size from our other two quads. And like I mentioned, guys, this has more power, but it also is a little bit of a bigger frame here, which is going to be a pretty sweet thing. I kind of like it as well for the size difference. Wow, uh, let's bring it side by side here. You could actually see uh, just how different it is there, and I kind of like like how it has all those areas here but why don't we go around why don't we go to ripping it here now we might have to do a full engine tune up here with oil change things like that yeah if we do have to here but there's so many cool things we could do oh wow this thing really uh, really can turn pretty fast here as well but guys i think i'm probably gonna call it a day here probably go inside and uh, just kind of get rest on up here for the upcoming week since it is gonna be a pretty busy one here but hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was a lot of fun uh picking up this new old farm quad but until next time thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more